Welcome back to Minecraft. I've lost track of what episode we're on. Um, but, uh, I want to say like 27, 28, I don't know. Look at the title of the video. And that will tell you the episode number. We are about to go into the Mesa. We're in the Nether right now. We've traveled all this way. We had a relatively tragic death along the way. And some epic battles that we lost. But we're here. Let's jump in, shall we? Is this a good idea? Is this even a good idea? Should I have more stuff? Should I be more protected? Do I want to go to the Mesa? Yes. Let's go. May not collect all that much, but uh, even just getting there would be so satisfying. Come all that way, have to go back, get more stuff. Come be, 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 be. Anyway. Oh, here we are. Are we in a cave? Oh, we're in a cave. I didn't even know there were caves in the Mesa, but this is kind of cool looking. And probably dangerous. Have there always been caves in the Mesa? I don't know why I asked it like that. Have there always been caves in the Mesa? This is brilliant. But no, really, this is awesome. I like this. It's much better. Last time I went to the Mesa, it was just... I... It was like on top of this huge mountain. It was impossible to get down. I mean, it's obviously possible, but it's very difficult to get down. Whenever I tried, I'd always get attacked by mobs and then forget how to get back up. It was a mess. This time, though, man, I like this cave. It, it gen uh, Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. It feels like it generates a little bit differently. Some light glitches, that's for sure. It feels like it generates a little bit differently than... Uh, than a regular cave, but maybe not. Maybe not. Where are we? We are at 61. Ooh, so this is a tall um, Mesa Plateau F. I have no idea what the F stands for. Should we dig up? Where do we want to dig up? This will be our nice little, this could be our base cave. Um, do I like this area? It's just a good little entrance spot. Let's say yes. Let's start digging. Ah, uh, here's spider. Yeah, we're right now. We're right near the surface. Be careful about our digging here. Yeah, I hear you. Creepy little spider. I'm working my way up to you. Well, not to you, but to the blocks that you potentially hold. Not the spider. You know what I mean. See, look at all of this clay. I mean, we've already got 13 hardened clay, some orange. Did we get brown, too? Oh, no, that's another brick. Never mind. Never mind. We're good. Maybe there's just another cave branch in there. I'm kind of surprised we spawned with no mobs around. I was impressed. I did not expect that. Ooh, we're running out of space here. We're going to get rid of some of this nether rack so we have more room for these colors. Because I want all the colors. I want all of them. Every single one. Yeah, spider's farther away now. Interesting. Where's the top of this thing? How far up do we have to go? It's changing colors. I don't think that means anything surface-wise. They're just different layers or different colors. Are we collecting? We're not even collecting this. Netherrack, I'm not interested in. We don't need netherrack. Yeah, you stay there. Collect all this stuff here. Good. Oh, see, there's dirt. There's dirt. Okay. Close. Oh, it's actually grass. And it's nighttime. But oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, that's gorgeous. Just absolutely gorgeous. Sword at the ready. Ooh. It's one of these. This must be what the F is. It's some sort of. Oh, it's like a forest. Hey, spider. Ooh. 
You got sneaky in the way you move. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Hey, we made it though. It took much longer than I expected, but hey, we did it. So this is it. This is where are we facing right now? Uh, facing west, north, east, south. Okay, so this is the edge, right, right here. This ocean over here—that's the edge of the biome, and it just extends this way for about a thousand blocks. So I'm gonna stay away from there. That guy already saw me. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I. Uh, are you coming to get me? No, you give up. All right, that's fine. Oh no, you're over here. You didn't give up. You're hiding. Oh, now you see me. Nope, 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 nope. Not today. Uh, I'll take your string, but I don't need the eyes. Okay. Good. Um, now, what do we do? <laughs> now that we're here, I'd like to... Maybe we should just collect... I can just throw away. I'm going to throw away all this stuff. Into the ocean. Ooh, hello. Hey, hey, hey. I didn't ask for this. Hey, er, er, er. you are the first one to go. Man, you're kind of an idiot. Oh, I'm not gonna die here. This is not gonna happen. Refill, hearts. Come on. Why are you slowed down? I don't know. Maybe I haven't figured out the hunger system yet. Did you just fall off and die? Or you just you just can't figure out how to get up? Oh, but you jump. You've gotten smart. And we're all very proud. One more hit and I might be dead. I don't know how strong these guys are. Okay. I'm going to pull up F3 again just so I can see what blocks I'm looking at. Where does it show? Oh, there it is. Hardened clay. So this stuff right here is just plain old hardened clay. That is what I want. Because then we can stain it all we want. And I think there are some veins of brown in here uh, as well. But I'll worry about that when it's daytime. And the various colors that we may need for the other farms. Uh, each of the tree farms is going to have a different color to it. Just because, you know, why not? So this is good. This is very good. Although it was a lot of work to get here, it's still going to be far better than trying to go out and find water and then find a bunch of, uh, you know, a whole bunch of clay, really, and then cook it up and then stain it and everything. This is just going to be so much easier. I'll throw that for now. Pick you up. Let's make sticks. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. We're kind of pressed for inventory space. Uh, actually, we're not really pressed for inventory space. Uh, we just need to get rid of some more of this. <laughs> um, that's what I came over here to do, is throw this stuff off the edge. You go, you go. I don't really need another rack for anything. If I need it, it's very, very easy to get. All right, that's not what I want. Let's uh, get you out of here. I'm not sure where my axe is at the moment. But now I've got some more space. Hey. To line my fingers on the keyboard. I got used to the other keyboard, and now I got this one. Throw me off. There's some XP sitting over there. Did I kill something over there? Oh, I don't know. I may have oh, the sun is coming up. Wonderful. Just glorious. Oh, hello. Are you trying to be a sneak? Don't be a sneak. I will take you down every time. We're going to want food, too. That's okay. For right now, we're just going to get some of this and uh, head back. Eventually, we'll come here and set up a little bit of a, a little bit of a shop of some sort. We do not have the materials right now. Plus, that is not on our list. We came here to get the clay and nothing else. For the moment, of course. We 
because next thing on our list is sand, which I think will be multitudes easier than doing this. Last time, not last time, but uh, we tried to collect sand once before, and it didn't go very well. Actually, it went very well. I got the sand, um, but then I was an idiot and went to the nether, and we died. So let's not have a repeat performance of that. I'm sorry if my voice seems quieter than usual. I'm trying to keep it down. Um, it's uh, 2 in the morning right now. Um, but it's a Saturday, so I'm not too worried about it. But I just got so into this, and I really, really wanted to get here. I just didn't stop recording. I just kept going. So I think this video right now is, yeah, this, this video is an hour and a half. It obviously hasn't been cut down yet, but still, an hour and a half. So this is good. I am I am feeling good about this now. For a while, I was kind of uninspired, um, and that was I I know I've I've talked about you know school and work and everything and not not having time to do stuff, and uh, that's all true. But some of it was there's just there was not a lot of drive there. I thought I heard something. Did I hear something? No, I didn't hear anything. Okay. Um, there wasn't a lot of drive, because I just kind of felt like the series was going nowhere, we weren't getting anything done, um, and then tonight I sit down and I record three episodes in one night, um, I just, and, but see, now that, this is, this is kind of a big thing, and this is true in life, life lessons from Let Music Ring, insert title here. In life, if if you're not organized, it's very difficult to get things done. Uh, for example, Minecraft. Um, I didn't really have... I mean, I knew I wanted to get the tree farm done. Um, and I knew what I needed to do. But I didn't really have a plan. It was just kind of like, alright, this is what I need to do. And I guess we'll just do it. Yeah, whatever. And that was kind of it. And so for a little while, I wasn't really going anywhere. And, uh, but now that I've got the, the quest board of quests, or quest wall, whatever I called it, now that I've got that, it's much easier to, uh, you know, see things laid out, and have a plan, it's like, alright, this is what we need to do next, and then I can just go out and do it, you know, so, I'm very glad I got that figured out, but, you know, life too, um, I don't know, I'm not even sure the, the demographics of my viewers right now, since they're, they're so sparse, um, but if, if you're going to school and stuff, uh, if you're going to college or even high school, whatever, middle school, it, it applies, uh, make a list, make lists. I make a lot of lists. Um, I always have, I have a legal pad with me when I go places, like one of those little, little yellow ones. And I've got, uh, a legal pad next to my bed. And I've got one on my desk here. I've got one on my counter. They're just kind of scattered everywhere. Um, but anytime I think of something that I need to do, you know, I, just, I write it down. Or I need to get, like, groceries or something like that. I just write it down. And, uh, yeah, I could use my phone for it. But there are so many other distractions on my phone, you know. And if I have a yellow legal pad sitting on my counter, I'll look at it all the time. Um, so make lists. Um, put it where you can see it. And... I can almost guarantee you, you will get things done, you will be more efficient, um, and it feels better too, when you, uh, how do I only have, oh, that's right, hang on, I was wondering why I only had one stick, there we go, oh, well now I've got three, man, oh well, uh, what was I talking about, yeah, getting things done, um, kind of forgot where I was, Anyway, yeah, make lists. Lists are very good. They're very helpful. Um, and uh, I could probably repeat the same thing over and over again. But I won't. Don't worry. That's another reason I kind of like this game. Well, not kind of, but really like this game. 
you, uh, I mean, obviously it's just a video game, and there are blocks, and you can't actually punch trees to make them fall down, and you can't have random things that defy gravity and float, um, but, you know, just little things kind of like, like we were talking about, the, uh, the list getting things done, it's, you know, there are weird lessons like that that you can learn. And uh, I realize that a lot of people think that Minecraft was just kind of a, you know, kind of just a weird craze for a little while and it was done, but, and it kind of was, but uh, it's, it's more than that. Um, people don't realize what games like this can teach people. I mean, and for all ages too, that's part of why I love it, is, is anyone. I mean, if you're three years old, you can have fun playing this game. If, if you're... 30 years old, you know, I mean, if okay, so let's, let's say you're three years old, you can, you know, just build stuff, you can, you know, put colors together, put buildings together, um, things like that, that's just, that's a lot of good developmental stuff going on there, um, let's say you're, you're 30 years old, you know, um, the creative process is also still valid there, and learning through building, but then you have, you know, you've got stuff like redstone, uh, more complicated th things like that, um, that you can learn, and then you've got, I mean, even if you're, I don't know, 90 years old, you could still enjoy this game, it's just, it's, I don't know what it is about it, I've tried explaining it before, and I've never done a good job, but... That's one of the reasons I'm still playing this game, even though everybody says it's saturated. The market is, the YouTube market is saturated. It's still very, very fun. Very, very good game. But yeah, kind of like life, it's got its highs and lows. Like, it was just kind of going through a low point. And, uh, things were kind of tough in the game, so. But, I got things organized, I got it all together. Um, I laid out a plan of what I was going to do in the game, and I followed that plan, well, I'm following that plan, rather, and, uh, I'm enjoying it a lot more, and hopefully you're enjoying it a lot more, um, so, yeah, that is all I'll say about that, I will stop praising Minecraft, we're, we're done. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven whole stacks of hardened stained clay, that's a good start if you ask me. Um, now, where did we come in? It was easy at night because it was dark and it was, you know, look for the light spot. I think it was over here somewhere. I think it was behind these trees. Sorry, I thought I saw something weird on here. I did not. We're good. I'm not going crazy, people. Actually, I may be going crazy. I think I'm lost. I'm lost in the mesa. It's okay, we'll find our way back. Uh, just look for a hole in the wall, basically. That's... Oh, I think I found it. It's right here. That was really close. I'm not sure how I missed that. There it is. Let's get on down this nice, colorful stairway. Another fun thing about the nether, there are so many colors. I mean, in, you know, in just a regular plains biome or something, you've got the green grass, you've got the green trees, you've got the uh, brown. Basically, it's green, brown, and, and blue for water. That's about it. The mesa, there are just so many different colors. Alright, back in the nether. Ooh. Yep, still having problems loading in over here, too. What do you expect? Okay, I'm not going to move until... Until we get a better... A little bit more of a smooth movement here. Alright. So I came in down here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and run back. and I will meet you all back at the house. Oh, we made it back in one piece. We made it back in one piece. 
No problems whatsoever. No one to fight even. Let's take a nap. Let's take a well-deserved nap here. Alright. Now. Something else. I'm gonna just do real quick here. I'm not gonna spend too much time. I'm gonna make... A double chest. And we are going to put it... I'm gonna take this with me as well. We're going to put it over by our farm. Man, it feels good to be home. Spent too much time in the nether. Unfortunately, we're going to have to spend some more time there, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we'll get through it. Alright, so I think I've talked about this before, and I guess I don't have... Don't have a pickaxe. Um, obviously... There's the start of our tree farm. Right here, I'm going to cut into this mountain a little bit. And I'm going to make like a storage area so we can store all of our wood and stuff there. Um, and, you know, potential tools, leaves, what have you. Um, but uh, since I don't have a pickaxe and uh, I don't want to go too terribly long on this episode, we are just going to put it in here. Although now I realize that making a chest maybe wasn't a good idea because I've got so many chests in here already. Alright, um, I'm going to put the other colors of clay in here as well. Uh, I think that's it for clay. Okay, I'll put these here so we've got our colors. Um, I'm going to set up a little, uh, probably put a furnace in here. Um, I can actually do that right now. Let's put a furnace in right now. Look at that. Stack of eight blocks. It's just asking to be a furnace. Please make me a furnace. Boom. You are a furnace. I don't like that. That's going to take too long to break. I don't know, because <laughs> I don't have a pickaxe. All right. So this we can uh, we can cook up more clay if we need to. Um, and our glass, too. We'll put our glass probably in here. That's fine. we got plenty of room. Um, so that'll be next episode, though. Uh, we'll get our glass taken care of. Let's go take a look at our project wall. Our, our quest. Man, I don't see. I don't remember what we called it. This is why I gave it a name. Because I don't even know what we called it. We called it the Quest Wall of Quests. Good name, good name. All right, so fortify the jungle path in the nether. Good. Get to the mesa. Yes, we did. Get sand, cook sand, and get color. Um, I don't even know what color we need right now, so I'm not entirely sure what getting the color will entail. But uh, we will, we will figure that out next time. But hey, we're making progress, you guys. Uh, it's good. It's very good. I'm glad I'm finally finally getting some things done. Oh, a note about number four on the wall, which is get storage figured out. I have noticed watching the past couple episodes, uh, like as I was saying, it was kind of slow and boring and a lot of talking and not really doing anything. Um, I noticed that I spent a lot of time in my house. And while it's a very nice house, I like it. Uh, spending too much time in there, uh, putting things in chests, trying to find out where things are, things like that. So we need to get uh, storage figured out so we have easy access to stuff. We know where everything is. Uh, we don't have trouble finding anything. Um, it needs to happen. Uh, you go in here. So here's my idea, and you'll have to tell me what you think about this. Step outside. So we have our stone house, right? Our lovely little modest stone house that we use to house all of our stone, which is, I suppose, why it's called a stone house. Um, we could build other houses kind of like this. Um, I know I said we were going to store our wood over there, 
Uh, oh, we're out of food. That's okay. I know I said we were going to store our wood over there. But um, we could make, you know, a wood house of some sort uh, and store all the wood in it. Um, I already have a design that I've actually used in a different world for gems and... I guess not gems, but like expensive materials. No, that's not even the term. Um, ores. There we go. That's kind of that's kind of the thing. Uh, you can put like iron and gold, diamonds, things like that. It's nice and nice and protected, and it looks pretty cool. So I'll probably get that design in here eventually. Um, but then I'm thinking we could just have, you know, we could have obviously roads going between them. So just kind of have like a stone stone brick road or something coming out here to wherever the next building is or we could actually connect them internally so we could make like a walkway somewhere in here we'd have to redesign a little bit we could make a walkway so that you kind of go through like a hallway type thing from one building into the other makes sense um you know or even like out the back we could have have a pathway coming out here a little hallway so you walk through it, you're inside the whole time, you're protected, and then you're all of a sudden in the next building. Um, let me know what you think about that. Uh, either having roads outside or having hallways that are uh, enclosed. Let me know what you think. Uh, yeah, so that's, that's my idea. Um, and we'll probably work on that at the same time we're working on the tree farm. Because the tree farm is a big project, but we also have to get storage figured out too. And that could potentially be a big project. But it's uh, more building. It's a lot more building, that's for sure. And uh, that's something that I tend to do a lot is not build. I have a problem with just going around collecting things. And look, look at all this cool stuff, but got to do something with it, man. Got to do something with it, so... All right, I've done enough talking for today, and uh, enough building. Not even enough building, but you know what I mean. I've done a lot. These past three episodes have all been one recording session for me. So I would like to thank you all again for watching and for sticking with me through the uh, the uh, slow times. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, you can click the like button down below. It helps me out a lot. Uh, if you want to see more episodes like this, or other games, I'm also playing Rocket League. That's on my channel. Do check that out. Um, then you can uh, subscribe to the channel. And I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.